Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of the Money News Flash. This time around we will have news from SK and Luminosity. We also have the ECS Finals and E-Leaks Group E. So let's kick it off! This time we have a small change. We will start with the big news and then go back to our usual format of smaller and then bigger news. So brace yourselves. Immortals have won Dreamhack Summer against NIP with a clean 2-0. to zero. Who would have expected that Immortals take them down? I didn't, but it's really interesting to see stuff like that happen. Now we will fall back to the smaller ones. Worst players signed two new guns. Jimka and Cyberfocus will join Worst players. Cyberfocus just recently left Empire alongside his teammate Spiker, so he's got a new home already while Spiker is still looking. Flipside have acquired Waylander on a permanent base. He was standing in for them for quite a long time already. They reached an agreement with Gambit, who will pick up space instead of Waylander. Devilwalk is back after a lengthy pause from February until now he joins Optic as a coach. So we are headed into the thicker things already. It's SK and Luminosity. What is going on with those two teams? You will find out right now. So they talked about everything and they reached an agreement. Luminosity, the players, will join SK and SK have released their Danish squad who also underwent some roster changes in the wake of all that. Asylian decided to look for a new team while Pimp left for Liquid. I covered that already last week. And SK picked up Veld and Glaive to fill those two positions. The Danish SK is Orgless. The Brazilian SK will play at the Major. Navi won Group E of the E-League so it was really expected that they come out on top of their group group and they will go to the playoffs. And last but not least the ECS finals number one. G2 managed to win against Luminosity in the final and who would have expected G2 to come out on top of the whole tournament. They had some problems at the very start. They almost got eliminated but took down NAP 2-0 and then they were flawless. Shock Scream and RPK being on fire. Really unstoppable. They really deserve that win as well and it makes the upcoming major so much more interesting. Cologne will be the least predictable major in the history of CSGO, at least I think so, and I think I'm not alone with that. Leave a comment down below if you think so too. Give me your predictions on the major, it's gonna start next week, so keep that in mind. And apart from that, leave a thumbs up if you like this video, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, anywhere you wanna go, you can follow me there, and you can meet me at ESL1 Cologne. So leave me a comment if you're there, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. See you soon!